Hello, welcome to this video. This particular reaction was requested on Patreon via the Sobbing Susan tier. And if you want to request a reaction from me, you can do so by clicking on the link and going to the Sobbing Susan tier. There are a limited number of spots, so make sure you go in and get your request in for this month. Anyway, let's go on to the reaction. Go. This is from Sarah Richards Grabber. Hello again. Um, this is Whiskey and You, Chris Stapleton. Is Chris Stapleton taking country? He looks like country. <laughs> Ooh. Gorgeous guitar chords slay me. I love it. <laughs> There's a bottle. God, his voice is gorgeous. Right it's like a break in it, isn't it? When I wake mm. up on the floor. Wow. This reminds me so much of Bradley Cooper in Star Wars Born. <laughs> Between whiskey and you. It's very simple, but very, very touching. The way that he performs it, wow. I can walk in any store And they'll always sell me more Show forgiveness Or anything that I can do Getting the chills. It's just something about his voice is just so One's a devil, beautiful. One keeps driving me to times Ugh. I wonder Oh my god. We're both the same. Wow. The truth. That's the difference between whiskey. What's the difference between whiskey and you? Wow. Addictive. Oh my god. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. I've got chills like all down my arms. And I'm lonesome because I drink. Wow. If I don't. It's a vicious cycle. That's the difference between whiskey. That's the difference. Wow. Keeps driving me insane at times I wonder. <sighs> ain't but the same. Oh. Hide me from my pain. Bit of truth. <sighs> whiskey and you. Between whiskey and you. <laughs> oh shit. That was so beautiful. <laughs> oh. Yeah, wow. Oh my god. It's just in the way he performed that. Jesus Christ. There's so much like power and rawness in his voice. It just like was just shocking and beautiful. Like, wow. And I think that like having it so just guitar and then his voice was just stunning and it just frames his voice so incredibly well. You know, his inner demons and dealing with them and how he relates to his love and whiskey and not being able to cope with maybe this person's left him or something and he's drinking to cope and he's kind of like maybe replacing her with the whiskey and therefore it's like what's the difference you know i'm just using it to get by do you know what i mean like this is your replacement you know wow gorgeous oh my god what an incredible voice and what an incredible emotional performance like there's just something about that that is just so so human you know there's a bottle on the dresser by your ring oh my god because the ring's been left okay so yes already we know that he's been left by his wife presumably or husband but this is country so and it's empty so right now i don't feel a thing yeah i'll be hurting when i wake up on the floor but i'll be over it by noon that's the difference between whiskey and you oh my god the hangover will be gone by the next day, but you won't But you won't have come back. Oh my god, that's so... God. Come tomorrow, I can walk in a store. It ain't a problem. They'll always sell me more. It's your forgiveness. Well, that's something I can't buy. There ain't a thing that I can do. And that's the difference between whiskey and you. Oh my god. Once the devil, one keeps driving me insane. At times, I wonder if they ain't both the same. One's a liar that helps me hide from my pain. The other's the long-gone bitter truth. That's the difference between whiskey and you. I've got a problem, but it ain't like what you think. I drink because I'm lonesome and I lonesome because I'm drink. Because I drink. But if I don't break down and bring it on myself, then I'll hit out of the blue. That's the difference between whiskey and you. Gee, Jesus, that's so... <laughs> like, he's dealing with her leaving him by drinking. And he's like got all these kind of beautiful turns of phrase that like describe how it is to go through the pain of being left and not knowing how to deal with it and using alcohol to deal with it um and he's like if i don't turn in on myself then i'll lash out somebody else like that's the kind of pain that he's going through that's the heartbreak that he's going through it's really gorgeous and so raw <sighs>
Okay, Chris Stelpus and Discovery, here we come. <laughs> that was honestly so gorgeous. I loved that so much. You gotta cry at me. There's one every month, usually. <laughs> you wait for the, um, the Blubber and Betty album request from last month. I was f***ing sobbing. <laughs> Some um, Jewel, what's the album? Pieces of You by Jewel, and I'd never heard of her before. And um, this was the album, the album request, and I'm gonna put out the edit at some point next month. And honestly, it just broke me down. There's just something about like singer songwriters who just know how to use their voice and how to use their lyrics and how to use their like playing of the piano and the dynamics and everything to really just take you to that place. And this like. It's the same. It's gorgeous. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, I hope you come back next month because it's a great fun thing we've got going on. Um, I can't wait to discover new songs. But yeah, keep an eye on the channel um, and your reaction should hopefully appear at some point. Yeah. Thank you guys. See you later. Bye. A shout out to my patrons. Their names are coming up on screen now. If you want to also support me on Patreon, the link's on the screen. This will be one of your perks. Yeah, thank you so much for supporting me further. It's been amazing. Patreon's been really growing and becoming a real little community and I really love it. So thanks for that, guys. I will see you next week for another video. Bye.